Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to Vedantu's J channel, everyone. All my students who are moving from 10th to 11th standard. Yes, guys, I welcome you all to our Vedantu's J channel. You know that this is specifically the time when we meet to study topics which are targeting J for 2022. Okay, so today you can see on the screen the topic is the extension of projectile motion which we started in the previous lecture. Yes, guys, today's chapter or the topic is horizontal projection. Okay, so let's go forward and study this. But for all those who are new to the channel, let me start off with my introduction. Yes, guys, this is me, your Suri sir, and more commonly known as Mogambo on this channel. Why? Because when you will crack this examination of J, Mogambo push hoga. Apart from that, guys, if you are new on the channel, you need to know the daily schedule that you follow here and your master teachers. This is Love, sir. He is your chemistry guru. This is Arvind, sir. He teaches you mathematics. And yes, this is me. I teach you physics. But what is more important than just knowing your teachers is the time slot. So, guys, every day at 7 p.m. we meet for theory and at 8 p.m. we meet for MCQs on Tuesday, Friday and Saturday. So if you are new, please note the timing and every day come at 7 o'clock on Vedantu's J channel. Okay. Apart from that, if you want, you can come on Vedantu's platform or you can say you can go on Vedantu's app as well. Use this link which is available in the description of this video and you can enroll for the batch targeting J2022 free of cost as well. Okay guys, so do take the advantage, become a part of Vedantu and continue your J preparation with full swing. Apart from that, if you are here on the channel for the first time, yes, I would ask you, I would recommend you to join and subscribe to the channel right now and also press the bell icon because you want to be notified with all the lectures and the videos that we put on this channel. Yeah, so whenever we come live or we upload any video, you don't want to miss out on any of those things. Okay, guys, cool. So guys, let's start. Chalo, start karte hai about the horizontal projection. You can see what exactly is happening in the, uh, the animation that you see here. A guy is running and then he jumps. Exactly this is what sets the basis of horizontal projection. Okay. So if we look at the horizontal projection, this is a very typical situation that we are going to come across when we are going to study horizontal projection. So whenever we talk about horizontal projection. It is basically a special type of projectile motion where a body is projected horizontally from some height. Okay. And obviously it's a two dimensional motion. I'm going to show you how exactly this happens also. Okay. Before that, let me ask you a question based upon the animation that you saw. A bomb is dropped from an aeroplane moving horizontally at constant speed. So if you neglect the air resistance of the atmosphere, then what do you think where the bomb will fall? It will fall to the fall on the earth exactly below the aeroplane or it will fall behind the aeroplane. It will fall ahead of aeroplane or it will fly with the aeroplane. What do you think guys? What do you think what will happen? Hmm? Yes guys, the bomb is going to follow exactly the same horizontal path and it's going to come down. So it will fall exactly below the aeroplane. Why it is so? Because when the bomb was connected to the plane, it had the same velocity as that of plane and that is the horizontal velocity which we know during the projectile motion does not change. So even when your bomb is moving, its horizontal velocity is going to remain exactly same as that of the plane. Hence, it is going to always stay just below the plane. So when it's going to hit the ground, the plane will be just above it. Okay? So that's why it will fall to the earth exactly below the plane. I am obviously going to tell you the physics behind it in a while now. Okay. So how exactly horizontal projection works guys? You can see that whenever anything will be projected horizontally, first of all, the angle that it will make initially with the ground, initial angle of projection is going to be zero degree. That is why in the beginning only I want to tell you all the formula that we studied in the previous uh, video with the time of flight, horizontal range and R. They all involve sine theta, right? 
टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट इज टू यू साइन थीटा बाई जी एच इज यू स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा बाई टू जी आर इज यू स्क्वायर साइन टू थीटा बाई जी सो इफ यू विल पुट थीटा एज जीरो डिग्री इन एनी ऑफ दीज फॉर्मूले यू विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दम एज जीरो ओके सो फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट नन ऑफ दोज फॉर्मूलाज विल बी वैलिड हेयर एंड दैट इज वाई वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दिस सेपरेटली हेयर बट येस वॉट रिमेन सेम इज वेन यू आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द Uh, understanding here the motion will still be studied by splitting the motion along x and y direction so when you are looking at the x direction here guys the initial velocity is the entire velocity of the object so you can see that ux is going to be u and uy my dear friends because it is horizontal projection will become zero so body will not have any uh, vertical velocity in the beginning but if we speak about the force which is acting you can see that the only force which is acting is vertical which is weight of the body or gravitational force so horizontal acceleration will be zero and vertical acceleration will still be minus g okay guys so that is why when we are studying this horizontal projectile motion though these formulae will not be valid but remember that the basic understanding which i gave you people will still remain the same that means we are going to split the motion along x and y you can still see that the acceleration along x direction is zero so it is uniform motion and along y direction it is uniformly accelerated motion that's why you can look at the vertical velocity after 1 second or after any point of time if you will look at the value of the velocity it's going to increase with time and how you are going to find that is basically v equal to u plus at so this is at value that is increasing as the time is increasing but the horizontal velocity you can see the vector is remaining constant okay guys so let's go ahead and talk about the further details of this horizontal projection before that again an example to strengthen our understanding question is if a ball or a particle is dropped from a height and another ball or particle is thrown in the horizontal direction with the speed 36 meter per second from the same height <clears throat> then the correct statement would be which of these so basically what is happening one object has been dropped and one object has been horizontally projected like this so that it moves along a parabolic path like this so if the height from which the bodies are being dropped are same then the question is asking <clears throat> which of the options with respect to these two objects are going to be same so what do you think is going to be the answer both particles will reach the ground simultaneously both particles will reach the ground with the same speed and uh, a will reach the ground first or b will reach the ground first so guys let me show you a super cool animation to understand this part yeah <clears throat> you can see what is happening here or in all the situations both the bodies at any point of time are belonging to the same horizontal line which means they are covering the same vertical displacement at any point of time let's read the statement also so it says that an object projected horizontally will reach the ground in the same time as an object dropped vertically so no matter how large the horizontal velocity was the downward pull of gravity is same for both the objects so if we talk about the situation so if we talk about the vertical displacement here guys obviously it is going to be uyt plus half ayt square for both the bodies and both the bodies have their vertical velocity in the beginning zero so the amount of vertical displacement which will be covered by the bodies <coughs> is going to be same that is half ayt square and ay is same and that is basically half g t square as far as the magnitude is concerned okay guys that's why the answer to this question is that both the particles will reach the ground simultaneously why because they are covering the same vertical displacement that is h they have same acceleration so the time will also come out to be same okay guys now let's try to analyze the vertical motion as i have already told you that along x direction the body is going to perform uniform motion so that's why it is going to be ux into t which is u into t because entire velocity is initially horizontal but if we speak about y direction then along y direction there are three equations of motion with, which will still be valid which is vy equal to uy plus ayt where uy is 0 and ay is minus g into t similarly y will be equal to uyt plus half ayt square again uy is 
because initially the body is projected horizontally that's why ui is always remaining zero in this case guys remember that and no vertical velocity this also becomes minus half gp square and last one is vy square equal to uy square plus 2ay into y which again if uy becomes zero is 2 times minus g into y so we'll use this to find out the time of flight and the horizontal distance that is covered by the body and these are the two most important things that we need to understand when we are starting the horizontal projection so guys you can see that when the body is starting say from point a and eventually is coming to say point b then in this situation the body is going to cover a vertical displacement say h that is the value that is known what are things that are known to us is h u and g these are the three informations which are aware which we are aware of okay so we can say that along y direction y is equal to minus half g t square on the previous slide only i told you by this that y is equal to minus half g t square so you can see that when the body starts from here it is traveling along negative y direction so how much amount of displacement it is going to cover it is minus h which is going to be equal to minus half g t square so minus gets cancelled and t square comes out to be 2 h by g and the time taken by the body to hit the ground is under root of 2 h by g you can call it the time of flight or more appropriate would be to say that the body the time which it takes to reach the ground when projected horizontally okay now very simply we can also talk about the horizontal range which basically means the amount of horizontal distance that is covered by the body before it hits the ground so again horizontally this is going to be ux into t ux is the entire horizontal initial velocity into the time that it takes to hit the ground and time we already found as under root 2h by g so that's why the horizontal displacement covered is u into under root of 2h by g as simple as this okay so in the horizontal projection situation either you will require to use this equation which is the time to hit the ground or you will require to find out the value of the horizontal distance that is covered by the body okay so these are the two concepts that we need to learn here and now we'll be moving to solve questions okay so very first question guys try to answer along with me a stone is just released from the window of a train moving along a horizontal straight track so the stone will hit the ground by following straight path, circular path, parabolic path or hyperbolic path. So if your train was here, say it is moving on a bridge. Okay, so when you drop something from the bridge, obviously for you, the stone will always be visible to be falling like this. But as you know that when the train is moving with some velocity v, the stone which is dropped from there will also have the same horizontal velocity and will have some vertical velocity also gained. So it will rather start following the parabolic path just like the bomb which was dropped from the aeroplane so as the train will move the stone will keep on going vertically downward by following a parabolic path okay now this one a plane is flying horizontally with a speed u at a height h and has to drop a bomb targeting a military installation on the ground we have to find the horizontal distance from the target at which the bomb has to be dropped okay so if say you have your aeroplane here and you have your target somewhere here so obviously you will drop the bomb in such a way that it will follow the parabolic path and in this it will cover some vertical distance h and horizontal distance x is what the question is asking us to find out and the initial velocity of the bomb is u so we know that in this case the time that the bomb will take to hit the ground is going to be under root of 2h by g and x will be equal to u into t which we can say is u under root of 2h by g if you want you can take u inside so that will be 2u square h by g this is the distance before the target when you have to drop the bomb so that it hits the target over here okay this is the bomb Okay, guys cool now this one is the next question for all of you okay 
we are not solving this one i'll take this question when we are going to study something called as relative motion okay so this is something which is as a glimpse for you to see if you want you can read the question obviously but we are not solving this question right now we'll solve it in the relative motion question okay as of now the question for all of you it says that a bomber plane moves horizontally with a speed of 500 meters per second and a bomb released from it strikes the ground in 10 seconds so angle at which it strikes the ground will be how much so say if you have a bomb or any object which is about to hit the ground here so it will definitely have some velocity say v and it will have some vertical and horizontal velocity say this is vy and this is vx over here it only had horizontal velocity and had no vertical velocity so if we talk about vx obviously it will remain unchanged as ux which was equal to u and that is given to us as 100 meters per second but if we speak about vy by the way we are asked to find out this angle theta so vy is going to be uy plus ay into t i'm just going to find out the magnitude uy is 0 this is going to be g into t say g is 10 and time taken by the body to hit the ground is also 10 seconds so we get the value of vy as 100 meters per second so from here if you look at say this triangle if you look at this triangle this is the angle theta this is v this is vx and this is vy so you can see that tan theta is going to be vy by vx which is going to be 100 by 500 or simply 1 by 5 that means theta is going to be tan inverse of 1 by 5 okay so our answer is option a but not option b because it says tan of 1 by 5 okay guys that's the way of representing an angle that is something that you will be learning in the chapter of trigonometry in mathematics as well okay moving on guys next question it says that a body is thrown horizontally from the top of a tower and strikes the ground after 3 seconds at an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal. So we have to find the height of the tower and the speed with which the body was projected. So what is given to us is the time after which the body has uh, hit the ground. So from here obviously we will be able to find out the height and angle is 45 degree. So if the body is going to hit at an angle of 45 degree that simply means what the horizontal and vertical component of the bodies are going to be equal when it is hitting then only the resultant makes an angle of 45 degree okay so let's first find out h so h is going to be half gt square that is half into 9.8 into 3 square okay so roughly if i take it 10 then this is basically 900 by 2 so what I'm getting here is this is 900 by 2 that is 450 so h is nearly going to be 450 meters you can calculate the exact value by taking the g value as 9.8 also the value will come out to be very close to 450 okay guys and now because we know that the body is taking 3 seconds so we can find out the value of vy as g into t because it is v equal to u plus at u is 0 in the vertical direction so g is 10 or uh, if we take it as 10 then the value of time is also given as 3 so this comes out to be 30 meters per second question is asking us to find out the value of the speed with which the body is projected okay the speed with which the body was projected was equal to u and right now we found that vy and vx are equal so this is also equal to vx which remains unchanged so this is u which is equal to the initial velocity of projection that comes out to be 30 meters per second okay so that's the answer to the question okay guys okay now this one says as the body is fired horizontally with a velocity 98 meter per second from the top of hill of 9 490 meters height we have to find out the time taken by the projectile to reach the ground that's the first part 
we know that time time taken by the body to hit the ground will be under root of 2 h by g okay and 2 into h is 490 and g is 9.8 in under root so if we remove this zero and introduce a 10 in the numerator you can say it is 98 into 100 by 98 just to simplify this okay so 98 gets cancelled and under root of 100 is basically 10 so the time taken by the body to hit the ground is going to be 10 seconds okay guys moving on for the second part of the tape question we have to find out the distance of the point where the particle hits the ground from the foot of the hill so we have to basically find out x which is going to be u into t we can call it ux into t but it is eventually u into t because initially the entire velocity is horizontal so the velocity with which you are projecting is 98 and the time after which it hits the ground we found it here as 10 seconds so at a distance of 980 meters the body has hit the ground after it was projected okay, something like this this is the distance that we have found okay next part it says that the velocity with which the projectile hits the ground let's try to find that so for that obviously we'll require vy vx is already known to us it remains unchanged ux equal to vx that is 98 meter per second so vy will be equal to g into t because uy is zero whenever horizontal projection happens so g value i will take as 9.8 time is 10 so this is 98 meters per second and already vx is 98 meters per second so if we find out the net velocity with which it hits the ground maybe under root of vx square plus vy square or you can say both the velocities are equal so it is going to be under root of 98 square plus 98 square which eventually gives you the value as 98 root 2 okay guys so the final velocity with which the body is going to hit the ground is 98 root 2 meters per second okay now this one it says that a pistol is fired uh, or rather a pistol is firing a bullet and uh, the bullet is horizontally moving towards a target of 120 meters at a distance but uh, at the same height so when you are firing a bullet from pistol you are targeting something which is at the same level over here okay so this is basically your target t and uh, what will happen because you are projecting the bullet horizontally say with velocity u it is not going to hit the target rather it will going it is going to go in this parabolic path and will hit somewhere at t dash okay so first of all question says that the bullet is being fired at a velocity of 200 meters per second and the target is also 120 meters away so how long does it take to hit the target or it's going to hit the wall over here that time has to be found and how far below the target will it hit so obviously we'll require to find out the time first so we know that x is going to be ux into t so time comes out to be x by ux so x is 120 meter and the speed with which it happens is 200 so 0 gets cancelled with 4 if i divide numerator and divide denominator it comes out to be 3 by 5 seconds so this much amount of time will be taken by the bullet to go and hit the wall of the target and the height below which it is going to hit is half g t square so this is half taking g as 10 and t square is 9 by 25 so this 2 cancels 10 5 times and 5 cancels 25 also 5 times so height comes out to be 9 by 5 meters okay so this is the time and this is the height below which the bullet is going to hit the target wall okay guys i hope you are able to understand the question that we are solving here okay now comes your homework question so in this question we have a boy uh sorry not a boy but a toy truck which moves off the edge of a table which is 1.25 meter high and lands 0.4 meter from the base of the table so you basically know the value of x and height is also given 
question is asking how much time will pass between the moment of car leaving the table and it is hitting the ground so t has to be found and what was the horizontal velocity of the car when it hits the ground so we have to find out vx as well okay so do tell me the answer that you get in the comment section of this video i will revert back with the correct answer also okay guys cool so guys if you are a student who has joined us very recently and want to cover up the topics which i have already done before this one then all you have to do my dear friends is to go on the playlist of this channel and on the playlist you will find a playlist with this name 2022 jeet flow 2022 is the series which is targeting j 2022 for 10th to 11th movie student you will find all the lectures of pcm over there okay also if you want you can join our telegram group by following the link which is available in the description of this video and that is where we share solutions of the assignments study material and daily updates okay so don't miss out on this thing as well come on the telegram group and stay updated with everything happening on this channel okay guys so if you enjoyed studying projectile motion with me and this video if you liked do show me this by clicking on the like button over there also share with your friends let them also uh, enjoy studying on our channel and if you have been regular but haven't subscribed to the channel yet then do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you are never missing out on any of the videos which we are launching over here okay so guys on this note this chapter first of all comes to an end and uh, we'll continue our study of later chapters from here we'll study relative motion after this as well so i'll see you very soon till then keep studying keep enjoying physics more importantly stay safe bye bye guys take care